In the previous two courses, we learned how to install the ZEP OS development tool and how to create a program. Today we will learn how to develop and install the program into the watch. First we need to create a project locally. Open the project in the editor. We can see the directory structure like this. Assets is the resource directory, which is used to store resources like images used by the application. Page is the page directory, which is used to place the JS files of the application pages. App.js is the application's entry file, which will be executed when the application is opened. App.json is the configuration file of the application, which records some configuration information of the application. This will have an impact when the application is built. Open the app.json file to see exactly what configuration information it contains. Config version is used to identify the version of the configuration file. Use the default version when creating the project. App type identifies the type of the project. Currently it supports both app and watch face types. Version is used to control the version number of the project. Make sure the current version number is greater than the historical version number. App ID is a unique identifier for the project. It should be replaced with that app ID requested in the ZepOS developer platform when submitting to the app market. App name is the name of the app. Icon is the address of the app icon. Targets is used to control the multi-device adaptation of the project. Targets can contain multiple device packages, each of which can contain separate pages, platforms, and design width. Note that the image resources of the corresponding device package should be placed in the folder with the corresponding package name in the assets directory, otherwise the resources will not load properly. Open the app.js file. You can see that the program uses the app constructor to register an instance of the program. The app function receives an object containing a global data object and two lifecycle hook functions, onCreate, onDestroy. Next we formally enter the development of the page. Here we take GTR3 Pro as an example. Open the page file in the page directory. You can see that the page instance is registered in the program using the page constructor. The page function receives an object. It contains three lifecycle hook functions, build, oninit, ondestroy. The timing of these lifecycle hooks can be found in the ZEP OS documentation. You can see that the page creates a text component in the build hook. Let's try to adjust the content and style of the component. Open the style file. Modify the text content property and the color property. Run the Zeus preview command. The installation QR code will be displayed in the terminal. Use the code scanning function in the ZEP app developer mode to install the app on the watch. At this point we can see the app we just installed in the watch. Open the app and you will see the text as just edited.